Good morning, astronomy students, and welcome to the week of 914. Uh, today is the 15th, Tuesday. Uh, welcome to your second engagement for those of you in fifth period. Uh, for those of you in seventh, m most of you have already gotten started on this, but this might help you as well. So first of all, your orientation engagement was due on Sunday. Uh, some of you still haven't gotten that in, so that's certainly a priority to make sure that gets done because we are moving on with our next engagement. And so if you're having trouble with that, uh, feel free to get into office hours or hit me up on Remind or email or Teams or you name it. Um, but otherwise, we are moving forward. So here are the expectations for the beginning of this unit today. Our classical astronomy unit is linked from the top of your general tab. So if you click on it, it'll open up just like I have it here. Um, I actually have it open in the desktop app, which I recommend because it's a little easier to see. And so I'm going to show it to you there. So here's the classical astronomy engagement. Um, and to begin with, here's your classical astronomy engagement. And for our sun's motion and sparks, we're doing several different things. To begin with, we're doing a unit long monitoring of the sun starting next week. This is described here in this first little section. We're actually not going to start it until next week. So if you don't get it done today, um, you don't get it started this week, that's okay. There is a video here that explains some stuff that's going to be relevant to this week's work. So take a look at that. Um, but this is something we're generally going to start next week, where we take pictures of the sun every four days and monitor its change in position as it sets or rises. What we're really going to focus on today and tomorrow is this week one work. And the beginning of that is this catching up with the caveman assignment. The catching up with the caveman assignment is, again, if you go to the general tab, linked from assignments from the top of your um, general tab in your class period. Here you'll see some of our old assignments, but the most recent one is catching up with the caveman. So if you click on that, it'll take you to this view here. And all you have to do is fill out this form and complete this test. It's a pretest. I don't expect you to know the answers to it. There are questions that any good caveman would know the answer to, but maybe aren't things that are right at the top of our list. So take it, do the best you can. If you work hard and, and complete every answer, I'll give you 15 points. Um, so again, don't worry about your responses. Just do the best you can. That should take you maybe 20 to 30 minutes today. And the bulk of your time is going to be focused on the shadow stick medicine wheel assignment and documenting your process of doing that. You're going to be using stop motion animation and maybe some screencast-o-matic to kind of merge together a video where you talk about how you use a shadow stick to set up a medicine wheel and how that medicine wheel may be relevant to you. There is a tutorial on how to set up a shadow stick um, located in the middle of this engagement. Check that out. It'll explain how to use a shadow stick to get an east-west line. You make a perpendicular line to it um, with rocks or sticks or whatever where you're going to make your astronomy observations. And then you make a circle around to finish up your medicine wheel. We do have one at Reed, so if those of you can't do this at home, you can use the one at Reed. Um, you may have to kick the can down the road a little bit on this assignment, um, but you can at least do the shadow stick part at home. Um, once you're done with that, you use a shadow stick, build yourself a medicine wheel, and then you're going to explain what the different directions on the medicine wheel represent. This tutorial here explains how that works, um, at least how I see it, or had learned it years ago. So you can do that. You can do research on your own if you prefer, um, but explain the different directions and then talk a little bit about where you feel you are personally. You'll put together an entire video, and that video is what you'll upload to Flipgrid by this Sunday. If you have any concerns or questions, feel free to contact me at office hours at 1230, on Remind, email, or Teams. You have all those different resources available. Uh, this should take a bit of time when you talk about documenting the process effectively using stop motion and other software. So um, get that done um, today and tomorrow. Finally, the altitude azimuth assignment that we have at the bottom of this engagement is really something we're going to focus on during Wednesday night's class. Um, I would hold off until then, but um, if you want to get started on it, take a look at that presentation. It'll give you some ideas of what the altitude azimuth system looks like. Um, but again, I would hold off till Wednesday to get that started. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, good luck on these assignments.